Hi everyone, it's Stephanie from Smiling Sunlight. Today I am happy to share with you the flip through of the Fairy Blues Travel Journal. When I first started creating journals, a lovely lady in the US asked me to create a French journal for her friend. And um, that same lady contacted me um, last month and asked me to create another journal for the same friend this time she wanted her friend to have um, a journal that she can use as a vision board because she wanted to travel to different places again such as peru um, france chicago and japan so that lovely lady who ordered this journal for her friend is actually a writer, a poet, and a spiritual guide. And she wrote a book about Lemuria. And in the book, there's a fairy blue with her friend Maya. And the fairy blue, actually, when she wrote the book, it was about her own friend who will be gifted this journal. So that's why I wanted to represent the fairy blue on the cover itself. She loves purple, indigo blue and red colors. So I have used these three colors as the main theme across the journal. First of all, this is the closure that uh, I created for this journal. It's actually a paper doily. And here, this is a picture of the lady who will receive the journal. It's a picture when she was a child. So it's like a reconnection with her inner child. So it's an altered book journal. I have completely recreated the cover and the spine, um, covered it with uh, indigo blue paper. And uh, this is a cover, a purple cover of a book itself. And the spine here, I have um, stitched an embroidered flower. This is recycled fabric with uh, silk, purple stars and gold. Here I have created a 3D effect of the fairy blue with the butterfly wings, the sun and the celestial dress of the fairy blue here. There are three signatures in this journal and each of the uh, signatures represent um, different destination that she want to travel to again. Um, so we are gonna start with from where she comes from. And she comes from Colombia here, as we can see. So this is a map of South America. And I have completely designed all of these pages uh, doing digital collage. So these are symbols, sacred geometry symbols, and she loves the morpho blue butterflies. So you will see them across um, the whole journal. So coming from Colombia, this is the end page. I've, I have also designed the spine, which is um, the roses. The roses are her favorite flowers. So these, this bird, uh, even the hummingbirds and the macaw, she loves them and they come from South America. This is an image of um, a lady warrior from Peru. And the back pages for um, the journal, I have printed big postcards since it's a travel journal. It will be pretty practical for her to fill in her memories from each of these destinations. So to start the travel, she will need a travel tag. And I have completely designed this travel tag with a little um, hint about, uh, for example, I have changed the numbers and put her birth date. Uh, I have put the year 2024 and I have created the tag for it to say Lemuria travel because she is coming from Lemuria. And eventually, to inspire her, I have written here, next destination. So here she has her travel tag and she can start traveling from Colombia. 
And here with um, this postcard with the hummingbird, in the background, I have listed all of the different countries that she would like to visit, such as France, Chicago, Peru, Japan. She also likes Kauri in Hawaii. Well, this page comes from the book itself. So I have um, used watercolor swatches on it with the colors that she loves, like turquoise blue and indigo and purple. And here there's a little label that I have designed saying Lemuria Travel and with a world compass. And when I was looking for the pages, I have been guided to keywords such as eagles. Uh, she loves eagles and we will see an eagle in the journal itself. She is living in California and I have been seeing little sentences from the book pages that I have included. And I love the little, you know, um, the little um, attention to the details here. So according to the book that was written by her friend, uh, I have put some quotes from the book on little cards that you can write in the back. For example, here it's saying, Fairy Blue was a joyful soul. She was filled to the brim with love and excitement. And I've created also uh, little envelopes that I have put watercolor on it and then glued to the book page itself here back. So little cards with quotes about Fairy Blue also here. And here I have glued two book pages together and inserted a very special photograph. When the lady asked me to create this journal, she told me to add a special photo of the two of them looking at La Tour Eiffel. So what I have done, I have actually um, redesigned the whole photograph. I uh, took the two of them and then merged them onto a real photograph from the 19th century uh, where they're looking at La Tour Eiffel and then completely transform it into sepia, kind of like old vintage photograph um, and represented it as a cabinet card with the advert in the back. And here, it's actually uh, a folded paper that acts as a pocket and it reveals Mother Mary and Jesus. And when it's being folded, it's the map of Paris, the monuments to explore. Um, folded back here, and it's like a pocket for this beautiful photograph as a souvenir. And slide back into the book page pocket. This is one of my uh, tea dye paper with leaf from my garden, the eagle that I mentioned to you. This is a handcrafted paper with recycled blue ink, pattern uh, botanical ink. This is an, my embossed handmade paper. I wanted her to have a lot of writing space, so I printed um, the Mexican um, Mary onto tracing paper that she can flip up. Uh, this is a bird that she loves too, it's the Quetzal, a little fairy, she loves fairies, and this is the middle of the signature for uh, the destination of Colombia and Peru. Um, so this is the sacred geometry, the Quetzal bird, uh, the donkey from Colombia, she has um, a special memory linked to the donkey, the roses that she loves, this is a South American um, church, and the banana trees, the morpho butterflies, and this is the sacred union, the Harris Camus. This is a stamp. This is a photograph of um, her when she was a child with her grandfather. Uh, and there's a memory of the two of them with a, a little donkey from over there. And um, I found a little snippets from um, the book page from the book itself and it's written they've known from birth and I saw that it was perfect to go along with this photograph. This is a handmade paper that you can write on to with a ballpoint pen. This is pattern 
dyed paper. She loves the color purple. This is a kind of like pop-up butterfly. As you can see here, it it's dimensional when you <laughs> place here. Right, this is the Merkful blue butterfly with the rose. More butterflies, more pattern, tea dyed paper, the roses, my embossed paper, uh, a label with the date of birth, uh, the love stamp, a postcard, back page, the hummingbirds that she loves with the sacred geometry. This is showing Hawaii because the two friends actually met in Hawaii, in Kauai. And this is the second signature about France and uh, Chicago. Her friend told me that she's a um, real foodie, so she loves food. Um, so I have designed the pages to uh, really show the pastries from France. So this is a French menu. Um, here we can see vin, vin fin, sirois sorti, petit four, uh, dessert. This is a French label, Chicago's map. Uh, a French postcard. She loves unicorns, so we can see a unicorn here. This is a little uh, origami um, card in a heart shape. So when you flip it up, it opens like that and it says birth birthday wishes because she's gonna receive this for her birthday. This is a card holder with the roses and uh, a little envelope to store more cards. She loves the color purple, so I have uh, tied a little purple fabric to the paper clip here. More pattern dyed paper, the blue roses. So when they have visited France, they um, have been to churches and all this, and they love the representation of Mary with uh, Jesus. And here it's John the Baptist. And when we flip up, we do see the two friends here. It's like a medallion. This is a pattern tea dyed paper, my handmade paper. This is a dessert from France, more cakes and pastries. And this is the middle page of the second signature about France and Chicago. So this is representing l'union, le mariage. This is Mother Mary, and this is all the pastries from Paris. They love the theater when they visited um, Paris last time. This is a menu, Chicago Pâtisserie Française. The roses that she loves printed on tracing paper so that she can have lots of space to write and journal blue roses stamp more roses botanical dye paper stamps another postcard and this is the last page of the chicago france signature um, it's about pastries and chocolat, and this is a birthday card for her. Fabrique de chocolat, bonbon, fin. It's really looking like delicious page. <laughs> this is the first page of the third signature, and I have designed it including little dragonflies because she has a special connection also with dragonflies. Um, uh, first card also here, more pattern dyed paper, a stamp here. This is a little matchbook. So I have written Fairy Blue, her name, and these are dyed paper. It closed like this. It's representing her, the Fairy Blue. Um, here. This is a special tab uh, because this lovely geisha, it's actually the lady who is receiving this journal. So I wanted um, to represent herself here in Japan uh, and this was, will eventually reinforce her vision board. She can already imagine herself going back there. 
um, and this is the dragonfly on a lotus flower that I created to use as a text belt. More of the handmade embossed paper. This I have punched it because then we can see through and we can see the blue flower in the bag. This is the middle of the third signature about Japan, the geisha, the dragon, uh, the kimono, the geisha girl here and um, the beautiful blossoms in Japan. Uh, this is again the um, Heros Gamos, we're seeing the masculine and the divine feminine. This is a page with the mudra and the sacred geometry. Um, a Japan scenery, calligraphy. Uh, the handmade paper, more stamping, more botanical dyed paper. This is an envelope that I have created that acts as a page and I have included in here lots of little goodies for her to play with. These are my handmade paper, these are embossed, uh, a flower, a doily and in here they are like stamps and uh, more elements for her to play with, ephemerals like La Tour Eiffel and all of these are in this little envelope and she can have fun playing with these so this is an indigo stamp that i have designed showing a lovely lady and i have just added um this um a little cut out from the book saying her transformation because with all this travel she, she eventually um come out transformed um, and here um, I saw that this uh, little sentiment also was perfect, the woman ahead, you know, she's just like evolving. Another postcard for the Japan um, signature, the dragonfly, the uh, paper from uh, Japan, and this is the pagoda and all of this. And the end page here, it's showing the world because eventually as she travels the world, there are also more destination to explore, the more for butterfly and my name, Smiling Sunlight. So here it is. I hope you have enjoyed this flip through and I look forward to hear how she received her gift and how she uh, will use it to envision her new exploration of the world. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.